Mark from Reaqua and we've got a Lorentz pump here. Now I know these pumps because I got one myself and it's like 12 years old, never missed a beat. But Mark's going to tell us a bit about Lorentz and their pumping systems. So Mark, you sell a range of Lorentz? Yes. Tell me a bit about that range. So we start from a traditional entry level pump which is a basically a DIY pump plug and play and we go up to a 75 kilowatt uh, system if required and a lot of different applications to suit all different needs. So it could be just a, a couple of panels pumping water for a single tank out in a paddock or it could be irrigating a farm. Correct. All yep. with a range of products from Lorenz. Correct. Now this one here, is this powered from AC or DC? This one's, partic this one's hooked up to a battery system at the moment. So John's got a battery system over there, um, which is just simulating DC power. So DC power will run through the controller through a three-phase DC motor, which makes it the most efficient pump on the, on the market. Right, so you don't actually need three-phase AC to run a three-phase AC pump. No, that's different. That goes into a PSK range. Right. So this is a PS2 system, which is a brushless DC motor. Yep. A Lorenz design. Once we go into the PSK, which is essentially from your 5.5 kilowatt to 75 kilowatt, that is any three-phase motor you can turn into a solar pump. Right. So it, does that mean it's variable speed? Yes, correct. Wow. So you, that's how you can get up to something like uh, 75 kilowatt pumps using just conventional three-phase AC pumps. Correct. Correct. But you're using the Lorentz as the controller. Yes, as wow. a VSD. Yeah. Yep. So you, effectively, you're adding a VSD to any existing AC pump. Yes. So a farmer might have a diesel-powered AC pump that they're just sick of spending money on diesel, and then swap over to using a Lorentz and solar. Yes, and that's correct. And when we go into the PSK um, range we can actively blend the power source together, whether that's grid power or generator power. So what that means when there's a cloudy day and you're irrigating with a, a pivot, say, or a, a irrigation system, it keeps that speed the same. And it just blends the solar power with the AC power to keep it at that range point. Right, so you don't have to size the PV to exactly match the demand of the pump. You can and, blend. Yes, correct. Yep. So coming in from the mornings, evenings, cloudy days, you're yep. always going to have a proper set point yep. where you can actually irrigate at that rate. I guess it also, if you're running off a diesel gen set, you can assure it's not running low load uh, if you schedule it for daytime operation. Yes. Right. Yep. Oh, so much versatility. Cool. Cheers. I'm just going to have a closer look at this unit. So this one is the PS2. So that one, that one's not a blended unit, but we can also apply AC power to it. But, um, as I said, it's a three-phase, fully synchronous DC motor. Can you get any remote uh, information from these units? You can, so we can apply a 3G or 4G communicator, uh, which you can control the pump anywhere around the world. So it's a two-way communication, so you can switch off the pump, uh, make changes on the fly, and, and get any sort of um, errors. Wow, that's great. So you don't have to drive way out to the back of your last paddock, turn something on. You just jump on your computer or your mobile phone and... That's correct. Oh, fantastic. Didn't know about that one. <laughs> but all Lorenz uh, PS2 series and PSK series, they are uh, Bluetooth connectivity through a Lorenz app. So you can actually see the live performance, go in and see store data, make all your changes that you need to make as well. Cool. Thanks very much, Mark. No worries. Thank you. Thank you.